Hey guys, I'm Mikey back here for the video guys. Today, we have new team of the year players in the game. We have solo challenges that will award you a free team of the year player. We have sets that you can go ahead and do and get some team of the year players, guys. So we have some very awesome content in the game right now. First off, let's start off with solo challenges. As I said, yes, you get a free team of the year player by doing solos. If you uh, get 90 stars, you receive a full NAT team of the year fantasy pack, which again, 90 stars isn't too difficult. It's 50 for each uh, one, 50, 50, 50. So of course, if you get all 90 or you get 90 to 50, 150, you're able to go ahead and get the team of the year player. So that's very awesome. Not difficult at all to get. That's very awesome. And it's a fantasy pack. So you get to choose what team of the year player you want. It's not just like a random team of the year player. So that is actually very nice. In the stores, we do have a 39,000 training for one team of the year offensive or defensive pack. So you get to choose which one. Very awesome. Again, it is random, so it's not guaranteed like a fancy pack like the solo challenges, but you still get something, you know, decent. 39,000 training. If you do not want to spend that much, you can spend um, 18,000 training and you do receive back a 95 plus overall player. So this one is a 96 uh, offensive defense. This, of course, is going to go ahead and be a 95 overall team of the year player, 95 plus, which means it can be the specialist offense or defense could be any of the above so you could get you know Kyle Ushek, not Kyle Ushek, uh Patrick Ricard you could get you know the kicker or punter stuff like that so it's not guaranteed that you get Nick Chubb or the offensive defensive players but of course it's just a random 95 overall player we also have the just specialist uh, pack, which of course is going to be auction one tradable, 95 plus overall specialist player. So of course, if you get this pack, you're not going to be getting the other crazy players, just the specialist players. So keep that in mind. You know, don't buy this by accident, thinking that it's the offense and defense. It's not like this is everything: offense, defense, specialist. Bam. This one just specialist. This actually goes ahead and gives you a 90, 89 plus overall player uh team of the week player so pretty much when you're grinding out these solos on your farm accounts uh these team of the year solos and you go ahead and get that player and you quick sell them at the end this set might be the move to go ahead and try to you know pull something great from this set using your training and then either sell that card or transfer that card over to your main account i talked about this in a separate video but you can either transfer that card over to your main account quick sell them on your main account get some training transfer training over from farm accounts Stuff like that, but that might be the move with that set right there. I know the playoff sets have been just absolutely awful. But you go to playoff players don't want really to go for that much. But we do have team of the year sets right here. First off, we do have a team of the year set for offense and defense. Now, if you go ahead and complete this, you earn a team, random team of the year offensive player. So this is going to go ahead and be 187 to 89 or 80, 87 to 88. 88 to um, 89 to 90, 91 to 92, 91 to 92, and 93 to 94, and you do receive back a random offensive player. The same concept applies to defense, so it's the same switch rule for offense and defense. Special teams, um, or specialists, uh, not special teams, specialists. Um, similar type set, except you don't have the 90. 3 to 94 overall player, and I think you have one more 87 to 88. Uh, so not too, too bad. Actually, I think you have two more of those, right? Yeah, two more of those. Um, and then going down the list here, we do, of course, have this set. If you did go ahead and do all the team of the year uh, or team of the week solos every single week for the year, it's not every single week because it's only 15 weeks here, and obviously there was 17 weeks total. Uh, so if you did miss a couple weeks, I did go ahead and help you out, but your boy did zero, so... I'm not really sitting here pretty with any of them. Right here, if you do go ahead and put in some Team of the Week players, this does go ahead and give you back a, um, a random Team of the Year offense or defense or specialist player. So 95 uh, plus overall player, which does look to be ultra more tradable. So that is nice. You get that back for going ahead and completing this set. Again, if you have some of the Team of the Week players still left over in your squadron and you want to go ahead and just put them in that set and see what you can get, Kind of nice, not a bad idea. No Mutt Awards today, so that does kind of suck, but obviously EA is trying their best to avoid giving us as many free coins as possible. I'm just going to say it, I'm just going to say it. Uh, but of course, that is the case. No um, 
specialist thing um, in packs today. Nonetheless, though, no free packs. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these players. So starting off right away, we do have a new tab for Team of the Year. And if we go ahead and look over to this, we, of course, starting off with 96-97 will be our top two players. And that's, of course, going to be none other than none other than quarterback russell wilson starting at 500,000 coins already uh 87 speed 92 throw power 93 throw short 90 throw middle 95 throw deep 90 throw under pressure 98 throw in the run and 96 play action very nice player next guy we have here is going to be defensively and it's going to be right end aaron donald Coming in at 84 speed, 91 acceleration, 98 strength, 90 tackle, 95 playback, 96 block shed, 97 power move, and 94 finesse move. Definitely a monster of a player. We're just going to go ahead now and go over the rest of these guys. So I'm just going to start off with each single position. So halfback wise, we do have, of course, Nick Chubb. Around 300,000 coins already. Obviously, the speed is a good reason why he is at that price tag. He has pretty good catching, but of course, 92 speed at this point in the game, I feel like, is not like awful, but it's definitely going to keep his price tag a little bit lower. We do have the wide receiver, Michael Thomas, with very good stats. Definitely a monster. We caught 97 catching. Whew, mama. Also, we do have, and he is power, you can power him up, so he's going to get plus one catching to that exact stat anyway. He's going to get 99 catching if you have the correct chemistries. 92 speed on Mr. Chris Godwin. Of course, he is not power up. I always say power upable, but just he can't be powered up. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, 96 catching, though. Again, very good catching on these wide receivers. We have the best receiver in the league, D Hops, coming in at 92 speed, 95 catching. Very nice card. And going down the list here, I think that is it. Yep. So let's go ahead and now look at tight ends. Uh, I think we only have one tight end, I believe, and it's just George Kittle. Uh, run block is amazing. This card is probably, in my opinion, one of my favorite tight ends in the game. Just because that run block, the speed, the catching. I mean, he's literally like a vertical tight end with an amazing run blocking ability. Like, very, very great. Definitely a, a guy you should be picking up. Left tackle, we have Jason Peters. Very nice. Uh, definitely a monster of a card. Next guy we have here is going to go ahead and be Mr. Joe Bentonio. That pass block looking awfully amazing. And yes, I said awfully amazing, which is very contradicting, contradicting itself. 95 pass block, 91 one block of Ryan Jensen. I kind of do miss Ryan Jensen low-key. He used to be Raven guys, if you guys do not know. Man had anger issues though. Zach Martin comes in at 94 pass block, 96 run block. Next call we have here is going to go ahead and be right tackle, and that's going to be uh, Braden Smith. And finally, we're going to finalize this off with our defense players. Of course, Clyde Campbell coming in at number one with 96 block shed. Uh, we already looked at Aaron Donald, so we go ahead and skip over to D tackle. We do have uh, Grady Jarrett. 95 block shed. Not bad at all. All left us our linebacker will be the Zarius Smith. Our middle linebacker is going to go ahead and be, survey says here, Luke Keekley. Which I'm honestly surprised he wasn't a 97. I mean, obviously, I know they're only doing 197 on offense, 197 on defense. Which makes sense for it to be, obviously, Aaron Donald. But I'm saying I kind of respected him doing more than 197. I expect Luke Keekley to be a 97. But with that in mind, though, we do have Chandler Jones right here. Cornerback right here. We do go ahead and start off with our first one being Casey Haywood. Number two being Tredavious White. And that's going to go ahead and finalize us off for cornerbacks. Free safety, we do have Mr. Mika Fitzpatrick. And finally, at strong safety, we're going to go ahead and have my man, the myth, the legend, Jamal Adams. Best strong safety in the league. Especially because Cam Chancellor retired. <laughs> you guys are not, if you guys are not OGs of the channel, you might not notice. I do love Cam Chancellor. Obviously, he doesn't play in the league anymore. So, Jamal Adams, the GOAT. Uh, very nice stats. Again, kick and punter we do have. And we'll look at specialist positions to end off this video. And the kicker and punter, obviously, you're going to go ahead and be 94-95. And it's going to start off with a 97 kick power of Zane Gonzalez. 
And our punter is going to go ahead and be not a free safety. Punter is going to go ahead and be the man, the myth, the legend. Tress Way for the Washington Redskins, who actually, I think he got a new contract too. So my man's living, okay? My man's living right now. All right, going down this, we do have middle linebacker Coy Littleton with 87 speed, not bad. Uh, we do have cornerback Jonathan Jones. Um, going down here, let's see what else we got. We got Mr. Patrick Wakon, 88 run block, 98 lead block. Yeah, he is a monster. Love that guy. Uh, we have Tariq Cohen. Um, and I think that is, oh, no, no, no. We have Mr. Geno Atkins. How could I forget the man? Whew, my man here. Geno Atkins. Everson Griffin. And right here. And is that it? Oh, nope. Hardman, the guy who destroyed the Ravens in like, what, week six when we played them against the Chiefs? So, very nice card. Gonna win the Super Bowl, the Kansas City Chiefs. I, I want to say the Chiefs are going to win the Super Bowl, but I really feel like the Titans are going to win it. <laughs> Tell me down below, guys. Ending off this video, who's going to win the Super Bowl? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to say it. Titans are going to win the Super Bowl. Like I, I feel like at this moment, I, I like the Chiefs. I think the Chiefs are the best team in the league right now, other than the 49ers. But I really think the Titans are just going to win it, man. The Titans are like the Eagles back when they won the Super Bowl. Like The Titans have everything right now, man. Everyone counting them out. They were 2-4. and four. They were just in the dirt. And now they're coming out of nowhere and they're the best. So with that in mind, though, tell me down below who's going to win the Super Bowl. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.